Welcome to Troy, Alabama. And a lot of fans might think that running through the tee is reserved for the Volunteers of Tennessee. But the Trojans here at the vet would strongly disagree as we are set for a showdown on the wiregrass. And boy, do we have a fun one ahead. Top 10 team, target on their back, going on their road and right into the snake pit. As we'll see the number two team in the country, the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Troy Trojans. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth as always by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. The Trojans will kick it off to get us underway. Let's see what he can get done from inside his own 15. So the Mississippi State Bulldogs offense is on the field for the first time today. And when you take the field with the confidence, the swag that this guy does, David, it just really elevates your confidence in the passing game. That receivers don't usually lack confidence, and those are the guys that kind of set the tone. And that swagger sets the tone for this offense, and Jesse, you know he's going to make plays. And that speed scares defenses, too, because he can take the top off quick. These safeties better get back deep, or else this guy's going to take it to the house. After the big play to start, now they are on the move at their own 45. Leaves it with the running back. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. Got a little work done on first down, now back to the line. On the move. The Bulldogs get it past the sticks. And I don't care if I get it by two, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. They'll give it to the back. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Really important for a ranked team going into a hostile environment like this one not to give the underdog reason to believe. Yes, reason to believe, and don't give the fans reason to get jacked up and excited. Come out early, be in a business mode mindset. You got to start fast. You got to have a sense of urgency. You cannot come sleepwalking into an environment like this because if you do and you make some mistakes, this crowd will pounce on you and seize momentum. Looking for a big game. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chain. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. And if the kicker can put one through, this will be a successful drive. The official says no good. The kicker couldn't quite get it through, and the scoreboard remains the same. Something about missed field goals, even long ones like that, a bit demoralizing. Now the offense set up at about the 38-yard line. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. After the run, second and medium. He's looking to throw. Gets it out fast. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. That last completion is still leaving them with a third down. They'll try to get the first through the air. Works the middle. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. And the Trojans with the first and ten. They'll go back to the ground. Hard running there. And he fights his way forward, gets away from one, but not much doing on that one. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. On the run, it's Meadows. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. I wonder how much fun this is for him. The head coach trying to take down the old alma mater across the way. Yeah, I think these are always mixed emotions and how you feel about this, playing your old squad. Like, it's something about it, I'm sure, that's nostalgic. And all the memories probably come flooding back. But there's also a competitive element, Palmer, that you want to beat this squad. Like, this is, this is the next team in your way for you accomplishing your goals and dreams. Yeah, he's probably experiencing the emotional spectrum coming into this game, but make no mistake about it, he has to separate himself 
from his past allegiances and understand if he's the home team he wants this crowd to get in this football game you know he just gave a rousing speech to his guys in the locker room before taking the field he wants to win this game versus his alma mater after the misfire now on second down back to throw it's barnett and that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Trying to get to it. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. Mississippi State will roll out the punt unit. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Uh, by the coverage team to make the stop, and that's where they'll put it in play. So guys, we'll have another look at this Troy offense. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown in their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for in a position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. After they couldn't connect, it's second and ten. He'll pull it on the read. A six-yard pickup that leaves him with third and four. Trying to pick up a first down. The back goes in motion. Looking to throw on third. They're working that left side. They are on the move as they pick up the first down. They'll spot it at the 28. The Trojans are rolling down the field. Comes out throwing on first down. He makes the connection. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground cover to pick up the first. Picked up some yardage with that completion. Now second down. Zings it complete to the right. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down. And the Trojans look to do some damage in the red zone. They're threatening to score, and they'll throw it. Working that left side now. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. Operating in the red zone here on second down. The give to the lone running back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, just nothing doing on that last run. And they knew coming into this one they were going to be challenged, right? This is one of the best defenses in all of college football. For them to have any shot, they're going to have to do a lot better running the football. Shotgun snap. Wants to throw it on third. It's complete. Stop at the three, but it'll be enough to give them a first and goal. The offense threatening. Close to the end zone now with a new set of downs. Trying to barge their way in. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. And this is the area of the field where you need a really good back. You can depend on, you can give him the football. He's going to hit a little crease and, and, and just lower his shoulder, be physical, be powerful. You saw last week he got a rushing touchdown. I look for this offense to continue to feed him and maybe get him another one today. Cutting it close now with third and goal upcoming. Trying to pound it in. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. I think it would be great if this offense leaned on the run game more in the red zone. Leaned on their back, man. Give it to him. Let him do his thing. He hadn't even gotten the end zone yet this season, so love to see him get that opportunity. To... And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Troy. And how about this offense? A big situation on fourth and goal, and you trust your running back. You trust your offensive line. You trust the physicality of this unit, and they reward that trust, and they punch it in for six. And the extra point makes it 7-0. 
both teams made no secret they wanted to target their big play receivers, and they've done just that in the first. They've swapped ends of the field, and we're ready to go in the second. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. The Mississippi State offense headed back to the field to go to work. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. After the incompletion, it's second and 10 from their own 25. Single back formation, and they give it to it. Gets it across the 30 to the 31. They pick up a five. Now on third down after that run. Looking to throw, it's Barnett. Quickly complete. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. And the Bulldogs come to the line with a fresh set of downs. He's looking to throw it. Quickly complete. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. Fresh set of downs after the completion. He'll come out throwing on first down. Makes the grab. It's Harold. They make the tackle at the 33, but he's ripped off 15 yards and picked up a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. It's on target and complete. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Trying to convert this second and short. Back to the air one more time. The throw to the outside is complete. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Nice job there by the receiver on the out route, not telegraphing where he's going. He can't be peeking to the outside, giving the defender an opportunity to break on the ball. He kept his eyes right down the field. DB had no idea where he was going, and that helped make that completion a whole lot easier. Let's see what they've got on second down. Hand off from the gun. Jukes his way for more. He's there to make the stop, but not before. He sets up this offense first and goal from the seventh. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goal post trying to defend their own end zone. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Really nice job by the defense. Understanding first and goal. What do most people do on first and goal? They're going to try to run the football in. The defense says, nah, not my house. Nice job getting in the backfield, getting the stop. They've gotten pushed back, but it's still third and goal. Dropping back, it's Barnett coming after it. Reels it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs the great thing about spreading a defense out, I can see where the blitz is coming from. I can see where they're weak. I can see my matchups. Nice job by the offense. Spread them out, taking advantage of their matchup, and getting in for the score. And he tacks on the extra point. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. And he's going to bring it out. I know he... It's every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. Now the Trojan offense returns to the field. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you, you played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complementary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. I don't know if the quarterback read the coverage properly on that one, but obviously the result is an incompletion. Not 
not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Moving away from pressure. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. Great job by the pass rush up front. Third and long situation. They're anticipating pass, and they know the quarterback's going to have to hold on to the football. Nice job pinning their ears back and getting home. The Trojans send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He gets it away from his own end zone. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. Here comes the Mississippi State offense, ready to attack. How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense gets a stop, and now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so if you're the offensive coordinator here, let's dial it in. Who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity? Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense, too. Like, the momentum is clearly not in your favor. How do you get it back? How do you make a big play? Do you be more aggressive here and try to get the football back to your offense? That last run leaves him with a third down. Will they keep it on the ground? They've got the screen set up. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. Nice job by the running back catching the football and understanding where the first down marker was. I got to go get that first down. Did a nice job. On it. They'll try the run. They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. Mississippi State has this drive hitting on all cylinders. Trying to find his man on first down. And they won't be able to connect downfield, looking for a big-time play. After the incompletion, here comes second and 10 from the 32. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to him. Just outstanding vision from the young freshman on that run. This running back loves running into the teeth of the defense. In between the tackles, he keeps a low pad level, and he's got some speed. They're in the red zone, and they'll pass it. Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. Will be no down here when you're throwing into the end zone. The windows are so, so small. Ball gets tipped like that. There are a lot of defenders lurking around. QB's lucky that one wasn't picked. Just gets rid of it to the running back underneath. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Dropping back, it's Barnett. Fires to the tight end. Touchdown, Bulldogs! What a grab and go for the score. Field shrinks, tight end grows. Big targets, big results. <laughs> I've never heard it put that way, but you're dang right. That guy is so big. A lot of times you get a DB matched up on him. He can just post him up. A linebacker, he can run by him. So that's why these tight ends are so dangerous down here in this red zone. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he's going to try to return this one. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. Guys, the Troy offense returns to the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit in this game. And the big tight end, a lot of times that's a bigger strike zone, a bigger dude, and you could tell they put the hit on him, and that ball came out, and it came to the turf. Nice job playing physical by this defense. Quarterback on the keep. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And they run the option, and you can just tell, man, that just the timing of that wasn't set up well, and the quarterback looked a little bit clunky, and that play went absolutely nowhere. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. 
safe completion on the screen. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. And the Trojans will punt this one away. He'll put a stop to that return as he gets it up to the 41-yard line. Here comes the Bulldog offense back onto the field. They took their time out of the gate, but now starting to try to take control of this game on offense here in the second quarter, Jesse. Yeah, and they're playing good complementary football up to this point, but this is a huge opportunity, David, for them to really create some momentum. Well, and the defense did such a good job keeping them in the game early. Now, holding down their end. Now get the offense rolling, put up some points on the scoreboard, and then you could really get dangerous in this ballgame. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. Quick completion on the out route. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. New set of downs after that completion. To the air, it's Barnett. Going for the big play. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. And now on second down for this offense. Throws to the wideout. Got his man on the right. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. And this defense is going to have their hands full because they're going to need to be comfortable with guys one-on-one -on, -one on islands in the perimeter of the field. And they're just going to have to make better plays than what we saw right there. They knew this offense was going to try to be aggressive. Got to need better effort in the back end for this defense moving forward. Now on first and goal, let's see what Mississippi State does. He'll just keep slinging it. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. Well, the game plan's been pretty simple offensively, right? They are taking shots, and they're being aggressive throwing it down the field. This guy's already got two touchdown passes. We're still in the first half. And on that last one, he was looking for number three. Nowhere close on that one as he got Will trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. He's looking to throw. Setting up the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. They could make this a two-possession game with a field goal, but they want to put a little distance, a little cushion to their lead. They'll go for it on fourth down. They spun that wheel of fortune on fourth down and come up bankrupt. The give to the back. You just can't go backwards. There he did, and they swarmed him for a safety. After getting caught for a safety, they're lined up and ready to kick it off. Just needs a crack to get a return. The Mississippi State offense headed back to the field to go to work. That last drive was promising at times, but stalled out, and they turned it over on downs, Jesse. I think they got to do a better job here. Just be The expressway is wide open. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. Phenomenal play call by the offensive coordinator. You're calling screen passes to take advantage of a good pass rush, and that's exactly what happened. The offensive linemen, they just let those defensive ends run up the field. Quarterback did a perfect job holding on to the ball to the last possible second, getting it out to his running back, and man, that running back had a convoy out ahead of him. So, so close to cashing it in for this offense. They'll use the running game on first and goal. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Pressure coming. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Mississippi State! No step back in week three. They have been sharp as they extend the lead. 
This guy's an excellent route runner, and he has really good hands. You've got to. That's now his third receiving touchdown. They've only played three games. Nobody can cover this guy up to this point of the season. And he's going to bring it out of the end zone. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. And the offense will play it safe, take a knee, and head to halftime. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, you've been calling a lively one so far in Troy today. It's been a fun start to this one, and this offense has really been the story. They've opened up a sizable lead, and unless something drastic changes, things might get even more out of hand. A combination of lethal efficiency, and that offensive line has been the key. They've mauled that defense and also just about broken their will. And with that, let's head back to our team inside Veterans Memorial Stadium. Thanks for that breakdown, Kevin. Mississippi State will put a foot to it to crank up the second half. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. So guys, we'll have another look at this Troy offense. Trailing by a couple of scores, they'd like to generate some confidence here early in the third quarter. Down two possessions, the coaching staff met in at halftime, and they've probably scripted this opening drive, just like they do at the start of the game. They've now got an idea of what plays they feel most confident in, what plays their quarterback is seeing the best to go out here and execute a scoring drive. Well, and it's nice to get the ball first. Like, I got the first opportunity to close the gap a little bit, apply some great game pressure to these guys. So I think getting the ball first, driving down, scoring right and that pass picked off got room on the return touchdown mississippi state a great return for the touchdown any return for a touchdown is a great one to a defense what a play by this defense with the pick six and how about the defender exactly what you're supposed to do breaks on the football makes the interception everybody on defense we turn to offense go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house they're lining up to kick it off after the pick six and that defense will come out feeling it and they thought about a return then thought better of it they'll bring it out to the 25. now the trojan offense returns to the field the big thing now don't get rattled by that last pick six, David. Nah, it was a big mistake. Uh, obviously, the defense took advantage of it, but you got to put it behind you. Jesse, I'm sure you know a thing or two about throwing a pick six and, and how to rebound. I believe I've only thrown one in my life, but yes, I do because of that singular instance. I'll say this. You can't let that play beat you twice. you got to go out and not try to get it all back here in one play. Just execute the offense. I think one of the hardest things to do is stick to the run when it's not working. But it's those runs right there that are the reason why you have to do it, right? You can't get too one-dimensional. Keep slipping those runs in there. Keep getting a little bit of positive yards. Next thing you know, you'll look up and you might break one of those after you got them a little bit tired. The Trojans will bring the punt team onto the field. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Here comes the Mississippi State offense, ready to attack. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Quarterback doing what he does best. He can move. He's going to take off. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. It's just so nice to have a QB under center nowadays in football. You can trust these guys. You put so much on their plate, and you tell them, go get positive yards when it's there. And a lot of these guys are such great athletes, they do it with ease. Works ahead for a couple. They'll stop him at the 27. Third down conversions, always a huge stand. They've got a third and long from the 27. Looking downfield, it's Barnett. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. Touchdown, Trojans! The defense takes matters into their own hands. The defense comes up with the fumble and takes it to the house. The old scoop and score. Create the fumble, pick that puppy up, take it to the house. Great job by the defense, not only forcing the turnover, but getting points out of it. 
into the end zone for the two-point conversion, and now they trail by just 15. That is a defensive player's dream. Ball sitting there, chance to scoop it up, run with it, and they don't stop you until the band starts playing. Here's the return from inside his tent. And he's able to pick his way through the traffic nicely for a good return on that one before he's brought down. Here comes the Bulldog offense back onto the field. He's going to pass. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Second down coming up. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. And it falls incomplete, but that could have been disastrous. A defender was right there. Now this offense facing a third and long from their own 30. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the wideout. Another incompletion on third down. So Mississippi State will have to punt this one away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. A first down for the offense. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. This has got to be disappointing if you're the offense, guys. You were expecting to have a lot of success running the ball, especially against this defense, which has struggled so much this season, but just nothing doing. They have not been good enough in the trenches so far. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Now the play fake. Throws to the wideout. Complete in the middle. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Well, these wide receivers work the middle of the field. So much of this is field. Understanding where the holes are in the zone or understanding how to get leverage on a man. And these wide receivers are dangerous nowadays because they do it so fast and see that so quick and make those plays over the middle. Now they'll try the right side. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. I got to be honest, I am shocked at just how well the defense has played in this game, especially stopping the run. We talked about statistically how they've struggled this season, but they have put the clamps down in this one, and they're just playing with a ton of intensity. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Power football with the run. Still running at the 40. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. You don't always have to run the sexy plays, right? It doesn't have to always be up-tempo and fast and spread and doing all this stuff. Sometimes you just lower your shoulder. Sometimes you just run powerfully. You get the first down, and that's all that matters. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Stopping the run is about physicality. It's about I'm bigger than you. I'm stronger than you up front. Really nice job by the defense. Showing their strength, bowing up, stuffing the run. Okay. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. On third down, he drops the throw. Unloads it left. And that pass is intercepted. Going the other way and he's got room. He'll go out of bounds, but he gets the ball back, takes it the other way, and he has created a great sudden change opportunity. The Mississippi State offense headed back to the field to go to work. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Here's the handoff. 
brought down at the 28. A chunk play, 15 yards on that one, and a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Scanning the field, it's Barnett. And it's picked off. Takes it the other way. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Trojans. What a great play by the defensive. Paying it off with the interception return. Just one moment and all of a sudden the fortunes turn. You're in a position where you're about to give up points. And now you flip that around and you put points on the board. Perfectly executed. What are you doing in the interception? First guy blocks the intended receiver. Everybody else starts to form a wall where the ball's going. Nice blocking, nice interception, nice return for the touchdown. Here comes the Mississippi State offense ready to attack. That last pick six after a drive like that, David, can swing the momentum of a game. The defense is still celebrating. I mean, such a big play. I mean, they, they gave up some yards but did what they're supposed to do now. Jesse, this offense has to put a drive together. Yeah, they have to recapture some momentum here. What they can't do is go three and out and give the ball right back. A strike downfield. And he'll go out of bounds, and this aerial attack just continues to carve this defense into tiny slices. The offense has it now at the 48-yard line, first and 10. He wants to throw. Makes the grab on the left. Man, those slot receivers nowadays, they're little water bugs, man. You, you can play touch football in an elevator to lose to these guys because they're so quick and so dynamic. Get open and catch the football. Going to the ground. Tackled after picking up the first down. Wow, the running back there showing you his skill set as he's able to rip off that one for a first down. Mississippi State really efficient on offense right now. Wants to throw on first down. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Wideouts all wadded up in a bunch. He slings it deep to the left. And it's incomplete after taking a shot on second down. They're staring at third. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. They're trying to get to it. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete and fourth down's cut. And they'll send out the field goal unit. And he missed it. No good. Still up by eight after the miss. He dies the Troy offense returns to the field. That last drive was promising for a while, but you just can't mess it up at the end with the pick, Jesse. No, you've got to be able to finish drives, especially in this game. If you're going to win in David, they've got to be able to eliminate the mental mistakes. Yeah, and I don't think you get conservative or play it safe. You can trust your guy. I think you put the ball right back in his hands and let him... And he is finding wide-open defenders all over the field. His third interception of the day. Looking for a productive play on first down. The give to the back. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you. So you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. Trying to move the sticks on third down. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. Just what they'd hoped for on third down is they've got a first at the 32. This is an offense that leads the nation in first downs because there's so many different ways they can attack you. They're versatile. They can throw it. They can run it. They've got so much balance. And that's what makes them so hard to stop. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy's had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Mississippi State to the line with a fresh set of downs. To the ground with the back. 
Pickup of one. It's down at the 11. And here comes the offense on second down. As we head to the quarter break, Mississippi State has the lead. Three quarters are in the books. Time becomes a factor, both in trying to hold the lead or cut into it as we take a look at the stats. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. Looking to throw, it's Barnett. Unleashes to the end zone. And he can't find his man as he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity. Would they love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal? On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. And it's incomplete. He was looking to the end zone and trying to get six. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. Never a doubt. And they'll push that lead out a little further. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. So guys, we'll have another look at this Troy offense. Mistakes are going to happen, as they did on that last drive. Now, how will they respond, Jesse? And this is the kind of guy who's going to take full accountability. That was my bad. That's on me. I'm about to lead this offense now down the field to score some points. Dang, Homer. I wish I would have played with you. I didn't play with many quarterbacks. that were just like, yeah, my bad. Hey, guys, I got this. Sorry about that. It was more, you should have ran a better route. He's back to throw on second down. He's got it. And he goes down right there, but a solid pickup, and it'll be a first down. A new set of downs after the completion. To the air on first down. He's got his man. He stopped at the 45 after picking up 10 yards and the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He'll do it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And that option game can be tricky, right? But nice job by the defense playing assignment football. And watch the linebacker, you can tell. Locked in on the quarterback, chases him down, gets to him. Not only gets to him, doesn't let him break a tackle, gets him on the ground. Just didn't seem like the quarterback and his intended target were on the same page there. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. It's complete. Now they're really starting to threaten as they pick up the first down at the 34-yard line. And the Trojans want to crank the tempo. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And the DB right with him to knock it away. Yeah, and I think you know the situation as a defender, and you know you're up by a score, and you know exactly what's going on with the offense. they got to make some big plays here in the fourth quarter. Nice job playing the deep ball, staying deep, and not giving up the big game. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Defensive linemen live to get after the quarterback, to get sacks, to get by those big hog mollies up front on the offensive line and say, you taste dirt. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. It's good. He was smelling that end zone, but they get him down at the four after the big pass play. And even though they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, they've got a quarterback that can bring them back, but they need him now to play his A-plus level of football. We saw a nice complete. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Troy. Lead in the game, and the confidence is building. If only there's enough time to finish. Time is ticking, but man, you gave yourself a chance now. Now the defense, go out, do your job. We got the moment. If you give me the ball back, I'm going to win. Let's go, defense.
Now they'll try to get the two and make it a three-point game late. Snapped it in the shotgun. He gets it in for the two-point conversion, and now they trail by only three. So it's a 77-yard touchdown drive, and they finish it off with the score from the four. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Looking for an alley from inside his own tent. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Here comes the Bulldog offense back onto the field. Had to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse. They'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Hit the afterburners, kid. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And once he got away from the D, they had no shot at catching it. This guy is officially a problem. His second receiving touchdown of the game. Nice job by the offense. Dude, if I've got a matchup I like, continue to pick at it until they stop it. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point extends the lead to double figures at 10. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Bowling Green has been able to call its shots offensively. As impressive a performance as I've seen from this group in some time. They're up by 18 over Iowa State. We are the eyes and ears of the college football fan, and we've got you covered all day here in studio, guys. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Run in the red zone. It's Meadows. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. It's amazing how play by a defensive end in the backfield can really swing the momentum not only of a series but of a game sometimes. All you're trying to do is create negative plays, to get them behind the sticks a little bit, to get those sacks, to get those tackles for losses. You see so much stunting in college football up front with the defensive line because you know once you get one of those plays, you've got the offense right where you are. Pulled down after a pickup of three, balls at the 13. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. He looks that one in nicely. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. He saw man coverage and the idea, just get it to my receiver as quickly as I can and let him work, David. See man and, and see the cushion and see the guy backed up a little bit. Now I know I can get it to him right now and get a positive game. Good right down the boulevard. Kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. From inside the 10, here he comes. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic than they get him on the ground at the 20. The Mississippi State offense headed back to the field to go to work. And they've got a little bit of a cushion here, David. If they can add to it on this drive, it would be nice. And it definitely makes a little bit of a difference. You know when I'm up by more than a field goal? Obviously, Jesse, my mindset switches, and I know I can't make mistakes. Yeah, and David, I don't think they have to reinvent the wheel on offense here. What they've been calling has been working. Just get back to doing what you're good at. They go to the ground. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. 
Off the boot, looking for his man. Firing to the right, complete. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. The Bulldogs look to keep this drive humming. From the shotgun now, here's an inside gift. Across the 25, he's got room. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Bulldogs! They tack a little more onto this lead, and they're on their way to a 3-0 start. And to have a rushing touchdown of that type of yardage, you've got to be able to make something miss. It's one thing to get into the second level, but can you make that last defender miss? And you saw it on that play. Once he was in the clear with his speed, he was gone. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. Now the Trojan offense returns to the field. They're going to have to be more aggressive in this drive. You can't expect to win this one, David, kicking field goals. No, especially when you're trailing. you got to have a little more urgency and maybe a little more aggressiveness, Jesse. And field goals are not going to get it done down the stretch. Yeah, you're going to have to take some shots, no doubt. Bottom line, when plays present themselves, you just simply got to make them. Going up top on first down. Fires to the big fella. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Love the way he didn't just run to a spot. He found the cushion in the zone and got himself open for the first down. Yeah, and you're taught to find that space. Now, don't run right into a zone defender who's sitting there looking at the quarterback and looking at you. So much creativity with routes now to being able to just have subtle moves one way, come back the other way. Nice job by the tight end finding that hole in the zone. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. He's looking to throw. Gets it out quickly. Really putting together a threat now. They get the first. It's at the 37. The Trojans come to the line with a new set of downs. The aerial assault continues. Fires to the tight end. And good coverage by the defense. Just a short game. That completion leaves us with second and medium. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. You're going to win this game. And the Trojans in the hurry up. Well, down two possessions. Good news is you get the completion. Bad news, though, did not get out of bounds. You know right now, saving the clock. That is at a premium. Touchdown, Troy! And they take it in for six more points. They got the score they needed, but this isn't over. Now, don't call it a comeback yet. The first part, step one accomplished, but this offense obviously still has work to do. But the defense has to go out and get a stop and get him the ball back. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Here comes the Mississippi State offense, ready to attack. Good timing on the quick out. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Bunch formation for these receivers. They'll throw it on first down. The quick out. They get him down after he makes the catch. Yeah, and he runs a quick out route, and this is a timing route. Quarterback has to trust him, throw him the football. You can tell they've thrown this a time or two. Nice job, nice success. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. It's third down now. They ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. Complete to the right. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. This offense lines up feeling awfully good after that big play. The give and tick, 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 tick. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Right back to him on the ground. And a decent game there before the defense makes a stop. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. 
Balls have the 25. They're in field goal range, but they love to convert this third and short. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. And the quarterback's just going to take a knee. Plenty of fireworks in this one. A lot of points. They always talk about having the chalk last, and it seemed like whoever was on offense had the last lap. Yeah, it's amazing how much offense is just boom in college football. So good. So many ways to hurt you. And you saw both of these offenses put on a show today, Jess. Dave, we talked to both of these coaching staffs, and their defensive coordinators were losing sleep all week. They knew this was going to be a tough task ahead of them. So much speed, so much firepower on both of these offenses. And man, we saw that here today. That's going to do it for us from here for Jesse Palmer, David Pollock. I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.